Here is Reverend Father Lino Nicasio, SVD. Please stand as we begin the Holy Mass. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad Let all creation sing Let children proclaim to every land Hosanna to our King Sound the trumpet into the night The day of the Lord is near Wake us Lift your voice, proclaim it to the Lord. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad. Let all creation sing. Let children proclaim to every land. Hosanna to our King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, our Mass is in a special way being offered for the eternal repose of the soul of our departed and beloved lector, commentator, Brother Anthony Lopez whose interment happens today. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord's forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus, Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, <clears throat> savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own gro group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of His that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have spoke I have shown you that by hard work of that sort we must help the weak and keep in mind 
the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing, Sing to God, God o, o kingdoms, kingdoms of, of the, the earth. earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Your kingdoms of the earth, sing to God, chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, His voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing, sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is His majesty, His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. We honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Hallelujah. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given them to me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth, your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody, those here at the National Shrine, and likewise, to our faithful devotees who join us online. We are all familiar with the famous sayings about goodbyes. 
like Shakespeare writing, Parting is such sweet sorrow. Or the more familiar one, It hurts to say goodbye. I mention these two quotations because that is the theme of the readings. Saying goodbye, crying at goodbyes, being sad at goodbyes. In the first reading, St. Paul was saying goodbye in Miletus to the Christians in Ephesus. And he said, I worked hard for you. You have become close to me. I have preached the good news to you. I worked to support myself so that I can continue to preach the good word. I have made you followers of the Lord. And now I am ready to leave. And then he gives them the famous words of Jesus. It is far better to give than to receive. And he says, Continue the good work that I have done among you. Do not forget the word of God and the teachings that I have given to you. And then after that, with much praying and weeping, he boarded the ship and said goodbye. In the second reading, which is the Gospel, Jesus is also saying goodbye. But his words are words of solace and consolation, especially to those to whom he was saying goodbye. Remember, this is the Last Supper. He was saying goodbye to his disciples, apostles, because he was going to be arrested, he was going to be crucified and die on the cross. But before that, he says goodbye by saying, I have given you to the Father. I have asked the Father to protect you, to keep you, even to consecrate you to protect you from the evil one so that you will always remain in my love. You do not belong to the world just as I do not belong to the world. But you belong to me. You belong to the Father. And that is where I would like you to remain. And these words of Jesus are also meant for us. We are also beloved by the Lord. We are called by the Lord to be His, always. And He consecrates us also to the Father. Our task is to remain in His love. Remember what He said earlier, Remain in Me and I will remain in you. It is by remaining in Christ, to the Holy Mass, to our prayers, to our devotions, to our good deeds to others in behalf of Christ, that we remain faithfully united to the Lord. And the time will come when this union will bear fruit in our being with Him forever in the kingdom of heaven. And thirdly, this is also the day we say goodbye to our beloved lector and commentator, Brother Anthony Lopez. Personally, I remember just Thursday, a week ago, was the last time I saw him. He served at my morning mass like this, and he was very faithful, preparing for his readings as he always was. He was a quiet person, but I admired his dedication and his very good voice, which he used to proclaim the Word of God. The only time he was missing here was when he was not feeling well. But otherwise, he was faithful, 
coming here, even walking here, to serve as lector or commentator. We acknowledge and we thank his services to the National Shrine of St. Eutadeus. And today, the day of his funeral, burial, or interment, we commend his eternal soul to the Lord. And we pray and invite you to stand up. Eternal rest grant unto Anthony Lopez, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God and in Jesus' name rest in peace. Amen. Goodbye and thank you, Brother Anthony. As we prepare for Pentecost, we know that even as we live in the world, we do not belong to the world. This truth calls us to pray for all people in union with Christ who wills that no one be lost. Our response, Father, consecrate us to yourself. Father, consecrate us to yourself that all Christians may have faith in God's love and find unity in the one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father consecrate, consecrate us to yourself, that public servants may witness to the truth of their faith, especially in the exercise of their powers and in the fulfillment of their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, consecrate us to yourself, that the Christian faithful may strive to seek holiness in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself. We pray for those who express acts of love and care for others, especially the medical and health care practitioners who dedicate their lives in the service of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to yourself. We pray for the urgent concerns of the community, the online prayer requests, and the intentions for which this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to Yourself. That the old, the lonely, the handicapped, and the sick may trust in God, who strengthens them with the warmth of His presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to Yourself. That those who have died may live forever with God, who is love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, consecrate us to Yourself. And once again, may the Lord have mercy on the soul of Anthony Lopez. Bring him to his eternal reward in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salamat sa iyo, aking Panginoong Yesus, ako'y nibig mo.
pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the most sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you have willed to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might share and make us to become sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, Oh, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna on high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Dying, you destroy your death Rising, you restore the life Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Come in glory Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, Jose, Cardinal Advincula, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Anthony Lopez, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, the souls in purgatory, the souls we remember and pray for in this holy mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Jude Tadeus, St. Arnold and Joseph, and SVD Martyrs, the 14 Holy Helpers, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us offer to God, our Heavenly Father, the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Ooh. Deliver us, deliver us from evil. Ooh. Ooh. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from the evil one and from sin, safe from all worry, distress, and anxiety, free from COVID-19 and related illnesses, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of God's love, joy, and peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, who wants us to remain in Him, just as He remains in us, especially in Holy Communion. Happy are those invited to His banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are unable to receive the Holy Communion, we pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. When the paraclete comes, whom I will send you, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me, and you also will bear witness, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us. And by cleansing us with its power, 
make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. In honor of the year of St. Saint... <clears throat> Joseph, we pray, Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted His only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Final commendation for the soul of Brother Anthony Lopez. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend Anthony Lopez in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Anthony in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant Anthony and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with him, Anthony Lopez, forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the blessing, allow me to express my personal and heartfelt condolences to the family and loved ones of Anthony Lopez. And likewise, condolences from the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus community. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue with our daily novena with the help of the prayers of St. Eutadeus against COVID-19. Please all kneel. To kneel at thine altar In faith we draw near We come to implore thee Our pleas deign to hear O good Saint Jude We call on thy name Thy praise Please turn to page 15. We invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of thy Holy Spirit, Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in His holy comfort. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 18, the Epistle of St. Jude, verse 6. And the angels also did not preserve their original state, but forsake their abode. He has kept in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle, that we perish not in the fearful judgment. St. Michael, first champion of the kingship of Christ, pray for us. O Jesus, life spring of the soul, the Father's power and glory bright, thee with the angels we extol. From thee they draw their life and light. They thousand thousand hosts are spread, embattled o'er the azure sky. But Michael bears the standard dread and lifts the mighty cross on high. He in that sign, the rebel powers, did with their dragon prince expel and hurl them from the heaven's high towers. 
down like thunderbolt to hell. Grant us with Michael still, O Lord, against the Prince of Pride to fight. So may a crown be our reward before the Lamb's pure throne of life. To God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Paraclete, to Thee. As evermore has been before, be glory through eternity. Amen. O glorious Prince of the Heavenly Host, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle and in the fearful warfare that we are waging against the principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, against the evil spirits. Come thou to the assistance of men, whom Almighty God created immortal, making them in His own image and likeness, and redeeming them at a great price from the tyranny of Satan. Fight this day the battle of the Lord with thy legions of all the angels, even as of all thou didst fight against Lucifer, the leader of proud spirits, and all his rebel angels who were powerless to stand against thee. Neither was their place found any more in heaven, and that apostate angel transformed into an angel of darkness, who still creeps about the earth to encompass our ruin, was cast headlong into the abyss together with his followers. But behold, that first enemy of mankind, and a murderer from the beginning, has regained his confidence, changing himself into an angel of light. He goes about with the whole multitude of the wicked spirits to invade the earth and blot out the name of God and of his Christ to plunder, to slay, and to consign to eternal damnation the souls that had been destined for a crown of everlasting life. This wicked serpent, like an unclean torrent, pours into men of depraved minds and corrupt hearts the poison of his malice, the spirit of his lying, impiety, and blasphemy, and the deadly breath of impurity of every form of vice and iniquity. These crafty enemies of mankind have filled to overflowing with gall and wormwood the church, which is the bride of the Lamb without spot. They have laid profane hands upon her most sacred treasures. Make haste, therefore, O invincible Prince, to help the people of God against the inroads of the lost spirits, and grant us the victory. Amen. Amen. Please turn to page 27. Novena Prayers O glorious Apostle St. Jude Tadeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute thee to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon thee. Humbly prostrate before thee, I implore thee to this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To thee, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to thee, and will be thy faithful client, until I can thank thee in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless. Aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before for death, death we may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most Holy Apostle, St. Jude Tadeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered thy beloved Master into the hands of his enemies has caused thee to be forgotten by many. But the Church honors and invokes thee universally as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore thee, of that particular privilege accorded to thee to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need. 
that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly We also pray for the following intentions. For God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus and St. Jude Catholic School. For more vocations to the priestly and religious life. For board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all our devotees and their petitions. And that I may bless God with thee and all Holy the elect forever. forever. I promise thee, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor thee as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to thee. Amen. St. Jude Tadeus, pray for us and for all who invoke thy aid. Let us pray. O St. Jude Tadeus, thou relative of Jesus Christ, thou glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for thy virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor thee and trust in thee. Thou art a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to thee and entreat thee from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with thy powerful intercession, for thou hast received from God the privilege to assist with thy manifest help those who almost despair of all hope Look down upon me, my life is a life of crosses, my days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. Thou cannot forsake me in this sad plight, I will not depart from thee until thou hast heard me. O hasten to my aid, I will be grateful to thee all my life. I will honor thee as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon thee, and will encourage devotion to thee according to my power. Amen. St. Jude Tadeus, pray for us and for all who invoke thy aid. O salutaris hostia, que celipan dis hostia, bella premut hostilia, My God, I firmly believe that thou art truly really and corporally present, present in, the in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore thee here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship thy sacred presence with all possible humility. O my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us, and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O Lord, that I, having adored thy divine majesty, 
here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. Amen. We pray the Oracho Imperata for protection against the COVID-19 virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for pray. us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. The fourteen holy helpers, pray for us. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us. We pray the prayer of Saint Gertrude, prayer for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son Jesus, in union with the masses offered throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families. In Jesus' name, Amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. And together with our personal intentions, through the constant intercession of our beloved patron of hope, St. Jude Tadeus, we all pray. Our Father, Father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tanto mergo sacramentum venere morcernui et antigum documentum nobo ceda tritui prestet fides Supplementum sensum defectu mi Genitori, genitoque Lausat iubilatio Salus ho, 
wonderful sacrament, left us a memorial of your passion. Grant, we implore you, that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, in his angels and in his saints. Please turn to page 43, Blessing for the Sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for thy sick, for whom we implore the aid of thy tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to thee in thy church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of His holy Apostle, Julius Thaddeus, and all His saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Blessing of religious articles, please raise them. 
Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God Almighty Father that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. May the Lord in his love and mercy cherish and reinforce with his blessing these tokens of our devotion and piety so that we may take up the course of the present life without offending anybody and we may attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we offer our heartfelt condolences once again to the family and loved ones of Brother Anthony Lopez. And we also continue to pray for Paula and George Fernandez, Nati Sambilay, and all those recommended to our prayers, Crescentia, uh, Symbol, and all those who ask us for spiritual help. Amen. Dear Lady of Fatima, we come on bended knees to beg your intercession for peace and unity. Dear Lady, won't you show us the right and shining way we pledge our love and offer you our rosary each day you 